Hey guys, JT here. Yes, it's true in the title. I got me a Nero. Uh, I've been wanting one of these for a good minute. I didn't get them when they first came out and then kind of towards the end with things. Um, I wasn't able to catch some that were actually on sale. So I actually um, was searching online and there was a couple of things here and there. I actually came across a pretty good deal for one. So I went ahead and purchased it. Now, um, I'm not going to bash the heck out this thing. I'm not going to run it too hard or anything like that. I kind of got it just kind of to have one because I've always wanted one and of course this has the diff brain and stuff in it so <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna do a little running with this I will run it off road and stuff but don't expect me to do like a lot of jumps and crazy stuff with this you can still get parts for these um, at a couple of places online I know you can still purchase these I believe overseas if you want to get them but you're gonna pay extra money to get it shipped off and stuff so if you still want to get one our big ride you could probably go overseas and get one or you may get lucky and come across one on eBay and stuff but as I've always had one I've always wanted one so I saw a friend of mine who had one a while back um, and he still got his and then one of my friends actually got a big rock at a uh, one of our swap meets here in Georgia, he actually got a pretty good deal on it too. I think it needed like one or two minor parts, but it still was a big rock and it was in decent condition. So he kept that. And of course, like us, we get them. And these are the kind of cars now that if you come across them and you get it, you go ahead and just keep it. And then just stack up on some parts for it and you just leave it at that. So anyway, um, like I said, I'll be doing some videos on this. But I just kind of wanted to um, show this to you guys. And if you guys have one, let me know what you've done to it. Let me know kind of some of the weak parts. And I did see online that they talked about, you know, some of these front rod ends and stuff are kind of weak and they break off and stuff. But this one seems like it has a couple of additions get this body off um that i didn't see on some of the other Nero's. like for instance um these guards in the front and the rear um is good and look at them big old shots i just love the way that looks so i love the way this actually looks without the body on it it looks cool with the body on it but it looks better to me without the body on it it's just got this mean roll cage kind of look to it that i like looking at and i'll probably just take it out and uh run it <laughs> um later just like this just to kind of get a run in for it because i've always like i said wanted one and i'm thinking about kind of spicing this up just a little bit maybe putting some i don't know maybe getting some screen and cutting it out and putting it there and in the front or something like that because i would like the way this looks with the body off but i've never had one like i said before i'll say it again and i've always wanted one i kind of like the way the setup and stuff is for it and all that and i've seen a lot of videos on this as well um so i'm gonna probably just be purchasing some little extra parts and stuff like that for it and i think one thing i'll probably and the only thing i'll probably switch out on this maybe the servo we'll have to see how this servo kind of plays out and stuff but i also didn't know um the nero was this big because i have my um low c3 xl let me get this out real quick so basically there it is compared to my low C3 XL and you guys have to excuse me I'm in the war room so you are going to see stains in the carpet and stuff little oil stains stuff but that's kind of what this room is for. So you guys kind of see some of the comparisons there in size and it's still a pretty big truck. I mean this low C3 XLE is a pretty big truck in itself um, but this Nero is just as big and what I wanted to do but this is not going to work was I wanted to put the low C3 XLE tires and wheels on here. But the wheels won't fit because on the inside of it, it's, um, it's just not going to work. It's going to rub and stuff like that. But I thought that would have been a pretty cool look to put these wheels on this truck, but that's not going to work. So I may put my um, Outcast um, backflip tires and wheels on it if I run it like on different surfaces, especially on-road running and then running off-road a little bit and stuff like that instead of kind of wearing these tires down because these tires are not cheap. Um, um, I believe um, Tower Hobby still has the tires. You could probably find them on eBay and stuff, but they're about 45 bucks a set. So I don't want to just wear these out just running them on the street and stuff. I may get some um, Creighton tires and wheels because you can probably get those a little bit cheaper. And I don't really plan on, like I said, really blasting this thing out there and doing a lot with it. I am going to run it on 6S. I won't run it on 4S unless I gear up. But I'm going to kind of play with some of the... Um, the different diff um, settings for this as well so pretty excited about getting this running and stuff like that i won't go too in the depth because there's tons of unboxings and kind of reviews on this so i'm just going to kind of give you guys my thoughts as i run it and get it out there and run against other trucks and stuff like that so i just wanted to show this to you guys i picked it up and i'm like thank you lord i got me a nero um now this can go as being a shelf queen kind of sort of i'm still going to drive it so you really don't drive i guess shelf queens but i drive my shelf queens like my low c 3.0 uh, my low c 8 3.0 so 
But anyway, guys, like I said, leave your thoughts down below. Some of your comments if you have one and what you've done to it and all that. Or if you know some places that kind of sell them pretty cheap or something, go ahead and put a link in the description. And I'll make sure it doesn't get flagged for, for spam in case someone else is thinking about buying one as well. So uh, these two are going to be some bad boys out there running together. I know, uh, I think it's... Uh, Tom Tracks, I think you've done a video where you actually showcase both of these. So if you guys haven't seen that and you want to see both of these run, go check out his channel because he did run both of these together. I don't recall if he had the diff brain or not in the one he had, but he did run them together. And they were both running good. He kind of showed the comparisons between the two. Uh, this, is, this is just a beast in itself. It really, really is. It's big, bad, and it's, it's just a beast. But now I got another beast. He's got a, a brother here to uh, play with as well so anyway guys don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching